dear students now we are in the topic of circles until yesterday we have discussed about equation of tangent yesterday i said that equation of general tangent equation of general tangent of a circle x square plus y square is equal to r square x square plus y square is equal to r square is y is equal to mx plus r minus r into root of 1 plus m square this is the general tangent of circle equation of general tangent of circle x square plus y square is equal to r square which is having 7 0 0 and radius r if center minus g comma minus f and radius r is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c so it is nothing but the origin is shifting to minus g comma minus f so if the circle i am writing here if the circle if the circle is standard equation of circle i am writing here x square plus 2g x plus 2f y plus c is equal to 0 x square plus y square plus 2j plus 2f plus c equal to 0 then its equation i mean equation of general tangent general tangent meaning is the the tangent having slope m equation of general tangent a tangent having slope m tangent having slope m is y plus m y plus f is equal to m into x plus g plus r minus r into root of 1 plus m square y plus f is equal to m into x plus g same model y is equal to mx plus r, r root 1 plus m square here f means minus f is the center and minus g is the center so 0 comma 0 center of the circuit is shifted to the center minus g comma minus f so equation of tangent model y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 concept so y minus half minus f y plus f is equal to m into x minus half minus g x plus g plus this is the general notation r root 1 plus m square now equation of tangents completed let us discuss about the equation of a card joining two points the two two parametric points on the circle x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 2 f plus c equal to 0 and x square plus y square is equal to r square depends upon the theta we can discuss now equation of a card equation of a card Joining equation of a card joining two points A minus G plus R cos theta 1 because minus G plus R cos theta is parametric point minus F plus R sin theta 1. This is the point X1 gamma Y1 mod and b minus g plus r cos theta 2 is a parametric point minus f plus r sin theta 2 let this is a circle and this is a this is b here this is x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2 equation of card Joining two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 is x plus g into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 plus y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to r into cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 x plus g into x plus g into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 plus y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 
is equal to r into cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. r into cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. Now I am writing here. So equation of card proof I am saying. This is the theorem. Proof. Let us write a slope of card using theta, I mean using parameter points of polar coordinates. I am going to discuss with you regarding the equation of card. Equation of secant, I said yesterday that S1 plus S2 is equal to S12 using simple X1 comma Y1 and X2 comma Y2. Now, using parametric points, so this is x1 by 1 as minus g plus r cos theta 1 minus a plus r sin theta 1. Like that minus g plus r cos theta 2 plus comma minus a plus r sin theta 2. Slope of card formula m is equal to y2 minus m by x2 minus x1 concept now we can write. Minus f plus slope of card is equal to minus f plus r sin theta 1 minus R sin theta 2, this is second letter. R sin theta 2. Minus, minus of minus plus, you can write minus R sin theta 1. Whole by. Minus G plus. Minus G plus R cos theta 2 plus G minus R cos theta 1. This is the slope. Minus R plus R get cancelled, minus G plus G get cancelled, R taken common, R will be getting cancelled. Use the formula sin C minus sin D. Sin C minus sin D formula 2 cos C plus D by 2 into sin C minus D by 2. So you can write here 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 into sin of theta 1, theta 2 minus theta 1 by 2. Whole by this one also. R taken common, got cancel, cos C minus cos D, cos C minus cos D formula minus 2 sin C plus D by 2 sin C minus D by 2. So this is 2 sin theta 2 plus theta 1 by 2 into sin of theta 2 minus theta 1 by 2. Here theta 2 minus theta 1 by 2 got cancel and 2 2 also got cancel. Now we can write equation of card. Equation of card formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 model. y minus y1 means this one you can take y plus f minus y plus f minus r sin theta 1. y minus y1. y plus f minus r sin theta 1 in is equal to y minus y1 equal to m into this is m cos of theta 2 plus theta 1 by 2. Cos of theta 2 plus theta 1 by 2 by minus sin of theta 2 plus theta 1 by 2 theta 2 plus theta 1 by 2 into x minus x1 what is x minus x1 here this is x1 so you can write here x plus g minus r cos theta 1 that implies Taking cross multiplication, this y plus f into we can write like this y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 this is theta 2 minus r sin theta 1 minus r sin theta 1 into theta sin theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 this is r sin theta 1 into r sin theta 1 into theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to here minus is there we can multiply with minus in numerator so you can write minus of x plus g minus of x plus g into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 and minus of minus plus we can write here r cos theta 1 r cos theta 1 into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 this is theta 2 that implies now we can write here minus of x plus g taken this side 
it becomes x plus g x plus g of cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 plus y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to r into r taken common you can write here as whenever r taken common the term you can write rhs cos theta 1 into cos theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 minus sin theta 1 into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 sin of theta 1 plus sin of theta 2 by 2 now you can understand that this is of the form cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos a cos b is minus is there no then you put plus here cos a cos b plus sin a sin b the formula of cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is cos of a minus b take an LCM you can get cos of a in, in the terms of cos of a minus b you write here cos of theta 1 minus theta 1 minus theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 take an LCM 2, 2 theta 1 minus theta 1 minus theta 2 whole by 2 it becomes cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 therefore I am writing here equation of card equation of a card of a circle simply s equal to 0 we write s equal to 0 means the full circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f plus c equal to 0 is x plus g into x plus g into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 plus y plus f into y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to r cos of like this take an LCM you can write as theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 this is the theorem of course this is not important for IP not important the proof for mains also sir so why you are discussing mains depends upon this theorem so many sums are there in object and depends upon this theorem in ellipse equation of card is there in the ellipse chapter exercise 4 b exercise 4 a roman number 2 second question is there their proof is there so then you will be able to understand easily that is why i said the proof x plus g into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 plus y plus f into sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 to r into cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 now note we can write Equation of card. Equation of card joining two points. Equation of card joining two points. A. Now I am going to discuss with you about the equation of card of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. Whenever x square plus y square is equal to r square is there, there is no minus z, there is no minus f. Whenever there is no minus z, there is no minus f. The parametric equations becomes as x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Then you can write here a r cos theta 1 r sin theta 1. b r cos theta 2 and r sin theta 2. Like that you can write r cos theta 1 comma r sin theta 1. B, this is the point B, B R cos theta 2 and R sin theta 2 for the circle, for the circle x square plus y square is equal to R square. You can put here in this theorem, you can put G 0 and f 0 like that you can get the value and here r cos theta 1 like this then you can write here x cos of x cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 that's all there is no g and there is no f x cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 into y sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 y sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to simply you write here this will not change 
R into cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. Rough diagram for this circle is uh, like this. This is center C 0 comma 0 indicate. Here you put 0 here A and this is B. A. Here the point A is R cos theta 1 and R sin theta 1. The point B is R cos theta 2 and R sin theta 2. This is the equation of card joining two points on circle 1, general circle and the circle having radius 0 also. Now, depends upon this theorem, we can say that the equation of a tangent also. We can write now equation of a tangent. Note, one complete. Here, second point. Equation of tangent. Equation of tangent yet P theta you write. Equation of tangent at P theta to the circle. At P theta to the circle. There will be no two terms for the tangent. P theta to the circle x square plus y square plus 2zx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is. Plenty of times I said that whenever tangent is there, there will be no two points of the line. Well, even though there are two points, the two points becoming a point, so secant becomes a tangent when a approaches to b and vice versa, b approaches to a. So, here P theta unit, there is no theta 1 and there is no theta 2, there is no card. So whenever theta is there, then instead of theta 1, that is, that implies I am writing, theta 1 is equal to, is approximately equal to theta 2. Substitute instead of theta 1 and theta 2, simply theta. Then now you can write using this one, x plus g into cos theta plus theta by 2. Theta plus theta by 2 means 2 theta by 2, means this is a theta. Here you can write x plus g into cos theta plus in the same way you can write y plus f into sin theta is equal to r because r into here we got cos theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 cos theta minus theta cos 0 cos 0 value 1. So simply the formula of equation of tangent of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square is x plus g into cos theta plus y plus f into sin theta is equal to r. This is an important. In object to level 1, 45 some, 46 sums are there. Now, equation of a tangent to the circle. Equation of tangent here to p theta. I mean parametric point to the circle. Equation of tangent parametric point to the circle. x square plus y square is equal to r square. Is depends upon this formula instead of theta 1 and in theta 2 you substitute the value theta then you will be getting here x cos theta plus y x cos theta there is no g there is no f x cos theta y plus y sin theta is equal to r that's all x cos theta x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to r this is also imp this you can remember as this one also remember as x square plus y square is equal to r square equation of tangent I said that s1 equal to 0. So the notation of s1 equal to 0 is xx1 plus yy1 minus r square is equal to 0. We know that the parametric points of strike, parametric points of circle x square plus y square is equal to r square is x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Then you can substitute the value instead of x1 x into r cos theta you substitute plus y into instead of y1 substitute r sin theta is equal to r square. So with r you divide then you will be getting the answer as equation of tangent of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square yet theta is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta is equal to r. That's all. These are the card and tangent concept. Yesterday I discussed with you regarding point of contact also. Now we can discuss sums and if another concept normal is there. After completion of normal, I want to discuss with you sums. Okay. Let us finish normal also.
the concept of norma. In one way, applications of differentiation chapter, one subtopic is there, tangents and normals. Tangent is, the original definition of tangent is that the line which touches exactly at one point of any curve is called as tangent. And the normal is the line which is passing through the point of contact and perpendicular to the tangent is called as normal. Normal concept. Tangents. In applications of differentiation, tangents and normals are there. There we discussed in the object that tangents of normals of a circle Parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, everything we discussed. Now we are going to discuss about separately in second and normal. The line which is perpendicular to the line which is perpendicular to tangent perpendicular to tangent and passing through perpendicular to tangent and passing through the point of contact passing through the point of contact is called as the line which is perpendicular to tangent and passing through the point of contact is called as normal Let us discuss about a circle. Put the tangent at any way. Wherever the tangent touches the circle, that point is called as point of contact. That one also we discussed, we had written definition also. This is the line perpendicular to the tangent and passes through the point of contact. That's all. So this is normal. How many tangents we can draw a circle? Plenty of tangents, infinite. So how many normals we can draw a circle? Plenty of normals. So infinite normals we can draw for a circle. Now, we should observe one thing. The normal is passing through the tangent. You draw here a tangent, passing through the center. This, like this. This is a normal perpendicular. This is a normal. Every normal passing through the center. It should pass, that's all. It will pass. So, no time right. Every normal of a circle. Passes through the center of the circle. passes through the center of circle. It is a condition. Now, let us discuss about equation of normal. Equation of normal. Of circle. First, let us discuss about small circle. Small circle means the circle having center is 0, 0. I am not discussing about size, simply equation. The circle having <coughs> center of zero gen radius of small equation. X square plus y square is equal to R square. Draw a diagram like this. Draw tangent here. Put the P point of contact as X1, Y1. Now we are going to discuss about every normal passes through the center. So this is center 0, 0. This is C you put here. This is the equation of normal P. Put this is Q. So this is a tangent. So PQ is normal. In this circle, PQ is normal. Whenever PQ is normal, the normal slope perpendicular to the slope of tangent. So, you can say simply you find the slope of normal like this y1 minus 0 by x1 minus 0, that's all. Slope of tangent you did not mention. 
So y1 minus 0 by x1 minus 0 and using the formula y minus m is equal y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, you can write now. So equation of normal you write directly. PQ is normal. Equation of PQ. You can write the equation PQ passing through 0, 0. So y minus 0 is equal to now you can write y1 minus 0 by x1 minus 0 into x minus 0. So that implies yx1 is equal to x by 1. That's all. x by 1 minus yx1 equal to 0 is the equation of normal of the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. Now, equation of normal. Next point. Equation of normal of the circle, large circle. Equation of normal of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Using the same concept that every normal should pass through the center of the circle, put here p x1 comma y1. And Draw like this. This is center. Center for the circle. This one s equal to 0 is minus g comma minus f. Let it be q. pq is the normal. Now you can find here equation of pq. Equation of normal pq. I am writing. Equation of normal pq is y minus y1 is equal to y minus y plus f. This is better. Of course, y minus y1 also you can write using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 concept. y minus this is x1 y1 I am thinking. y plus f is equal to the slope is y1 plus f by x1 plus g. y1 plus f by x1 plus g into x plus g. So, we can write here. The same we got y minus y1, so better to take here y plus f is equal to slope y1 plus f by x1 plus g into x plus g. So y plus f into we can write here y plus f into x1 plus g okay, is equal to x plus g into y1 plus f. This is an equation but this is not a general notation. So general notation I am saying now, of course this is right, it is not wrong. Using R you can write Y minus Y1 you write here the point. Y minus Y1 is equal to write the slope as Y1 plus F by X1 plus G. Y1 plus F by X1 plus G into X minus X1 you can write. That implies whenever you do cross multiplication you will be getting the equation of normal in general form is y minus y1 is equal into x1 plus g is equal to x minus x1 into y1 plus f. Some staff will say like this x minus x1 into because the equation of line will start with the letter x that is why x minus x1 into y1 plus f you write minus y minus y1 into x1 plus g you can write now. y minus y1 into x1 plus g is equal to 0 is the equation of normal of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So we discussed according to exercise 1c concept about equation of secant, equation of tangent, equation of normal for a general and the condition of tangency, condition of tangency and length of a card, 2 root r square plus d square, general tangent for the circle x square plus y square root r square, general tangent for the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2 equal to c equal to 0 and normal depends upon the theorem. Just last sum is there, the sum is important for 2 marks, depends upon the condition of normality. A small question. If Lx plus My plus N equal to 0 is a normal. Example 3, page 43. 
Example 3, page 43, it is a 2 marks IMP question. Show that the line. Show that the line Lx plus My plus N equal to 0. Lx plus My plus N equal to 0 is a normal to the circuit. is a normal to the circle. S equal to 0 means notation x square plus y square like that. If and only if Lg plus Mf plus N equal to 0. This is only two marks question. You should not prove the like necessary and sufficient condition whenever if and only if you given he is giving a hint to us that the normal should pass through the center. That is the hint. So draw the diagram. This is a tangent and this is a normal. Put here minus g comma minus f. This line is Lx plus My plus N equal to g. We should write in this model question given line, given line means it is normal, given normal Lx plus My plus N is equal to 0, given circle, general notation of circle of S is equal to 0 is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fa plus c equal to 0. Here center you can mention c is equal to minus g comma minus f. Now we should write the point since every normal, every normal passes through the center. Every normal passes through the center. That implies you should write like this. Yeah, whenever he is given, if and only if you, put, if you should put by implication. If that happens, this happens, this happens, that happens. So the line Lx plus My plus N equal to 0 he given. Now you put instead of x minus g and instead of y minus f. L into minus G plus M into minus F plus N is equal to 0. So now that became as minus LG minus MF plus N is equal to 0. Therefore, these minus terms taken that side it becomes LG plus MF is equal to M. That's all. This is the theorem. This is the sum. LG plus MF is equal to N here, not plus n. So, right like this, minus n equal to 0. That's all. Here, Lg plus mf is equal to L. Theory completed for the exercise 1c concept. Now, we can discuss about the sums. From example, one sad problems are there. From sad problems, we can discuss now. I am giving work to you that depends upon the question. Of course, one is theorem. Page number 34, first one is theorem and length of card. So many models I will discuss with you. So example 2, you do homework and depends upon the formula. Example 3, you do page number 35. Find the equation of tangent, equation of tangent parallel to it. I will say the examples in page number 37. Whatever the examples are there in page number 35, you do. 1 is no need and exa example 2, example 3 you do the homework, example 4 is no need already I said previously like a corollary theorem for the condition of tangency of the x-axis and y-axis for the circle x plus y plus 2gx plus 2 f plus c equal to 0. So now I am giving the work to you that page number 34, example 2 and example 3. Next, page number 37, I will say the question. 1, 2, 3, everyone, I will say 5th question, okay, 5th question also I should say, theorem page number 39 completed and page number 40 sums also I will say, okay, now let us discuss about examples, page number 37.
These are Sarva Dwaram Sarva Varkad examples. Sarva Dwaram page number 37. Page 37. Find the equation of tangent for this one, for first set. First example, find the equation of tangent to the circle. S is equal to. Find the equation of tangent to the circle. S is equal to x square plus y square x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 yet 1 minus 1 comma 1. So for the circuit, the point he given as minus 1 comma 1. So at minus 1 comma 1 you should calculate equation of tangent. Equation of tangent, what is the formula? S1 equal to 0, I said. What is the notation of S1? You should not forget that is xx1 plus yy1 plus g. Students don't get confused here as minus g. Center of the circle is minus g, minus f. But here the formula plus g, don't confuse that it is minus g, it is 100% plus g only xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. This is the notation you should not forget. S is what is the x1 comma y1? Whatever the point he given that is x1 comma y1. So s1 you mentioned here x into minus 1 plus y into 1 plus g here 2g means minus 6 minus g, g means minus 3. Don't get confused that whenever you are calculating the center, you put c is equal to minus g comma minus f, 3 comma minus 2, but you should not change the symbol here. You should not change the symbol. Don't change the symbol. Whatever the symbol is there, simply you write. Don't get confused. Three times I am saying to you. Minus 3 into x minus 1 plus 2 into y plus 1 minus 12 equal to 0 that implies equation of tangent now you can write as uh, this is minus x plus y minus 3x plus 3 plus 2y plus 2 minus 12 equal to 0. First you should write uh, x formula minus x letter minus x and minus 3x minus 4x plus 3y letter number constant this is. Here yeah, this is plus 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 minus 12, minus 7 equal to 0. Minus 7 equal to 0. Therefore, equation of tangent you can write now. Equation of tangent is multiply with minus both sides. You can get the answer as 4x minus 3 by plus 7 equal to 0. Like this issue. Next, let us discuss about the, find the equation of tangent, also find the equation of tangent parallel to it. Find the equation of tangent of the circle. Find the equation of tangent of the circle x square plus y square minus 2x plus 4y is equal to 0 yet the point he given as 3 comma minus 1 also find also find the equation of tangent parallel to it also find the equation of tangent parallel to it Equation of tangent for the circuit. 
and we should calculate the parallel tangent also. If you put here, this is a tangent. Yet the point P3 comma minus 1. We should calculate this tangent and parallel to this one also. We should find out. Parallel tangent. First of all, original tangent we can write. So whatever the value he is asking, whatever the tangent he is asking at 3 comma minus 1. So equation of tangent. The formula S1 equal to 0. Don't forget, one second I am writing the formula. The notation xx1 plus yy1 plus g into x plus x1 plus f into y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. So here you can write here x into 3, this is a 3 x1 means plus y into minus 1 plus g means here minus 1, minus 1 into x plus 3 plus 2 into y minus 1, that's all, there is no constant, it is equal to 0, you write. 3x minus y minus x minus 3 plus 2y minus 2 equal to 0. This is 2x plus y minus 5. 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now you can write here a slope. Slope of this tangent m is equal to minus 2. m is equal to minus 2. He is asking the equation of parallel tangent. Just today I said in starting that general tangent of the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2f plus c equal to 0. That is having slope m is y plus f is equal to m into x plus g plus r minus r root 1 plus m square. So depends upon this m, whatever m we got here minus 2. So minus 2 should substitute the general tangent, then you will be getting the equation. Parallel tangent I am writing simply. Parallel tangent. Parallel tangent formula y plus f is equal to m into x plus g plus r minus r root of 1 plus m square. So r and f you should calculate students. So what is g, what is f for this circle? g is equal to minus 1. He is asking y plus f. So simple f, simple g. And f is equal to 2. r is equal to root of g square plus f square minus c. This is 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5. Substitute so, here y plus f. Oh, what is f? So y plus 2 is equal to m the slope minus 2 into x minus 1. In plus r minus r means 5 into root 1 plus m square. Root 1 plus 4. So root 5. That one taken this side. y plus 2 is equal to y plus 2 is equal to minus 2 into this is root 5. r means this is root 5 students. This is root 5 into root 5, right? So you can write here y plus 2. y plus 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 2 plus r minus 5. So parallel tangents. So maybe this is a tangent, this is a tangent. What this is a tangent? Whatever we found that is the tangent. Because every line is parallel to itself. So whenever calculating like the two tangents we will get only first equation whatever we had we had here whatever we had written this one we will be getting this one and next one is the parallel tangent. Now 2 2 got cancelled minus taken this side 2x plus y is equal to plus or minus 5. Whenever minus y taken this side it becomes plus 5. Whenever plus y taken this side it becomes minus 5. Already one tangent is there, so no need to write. This is the parallel tangent. This is the given tangent. No need to write this one. 2x plus 5. No need to write. Already complete. Let us discuss the point of contact of example 3, page number 38. Page number 38, example 3.
example 3 page 38 find the point of contact find the point of contact of tangent so we given if 4x was simply okay 4x point of contact of tangent 4x minus 3b plus 7 equal to 3 4x minus 3 by plus 7 equal to 0 to the circle. Maybe this is the first sum what we done. To the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2. x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2. x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equal to 0. We should calculate the point of contact of this tangent. Whenever I said the theory of the tangent, I said the point of contact of tangent is foot of perpendicular from center. This is P. The center is the circle. Center I am writing. Center is minus G comma minus F concept to 3 comma minus 2. You write here 3 comma minus 2 here the tangent or line the tangent is 4x minus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 so point of contact point of contact is equal to foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular from center to the line from center to the line Put a perpendicular formula h minus x1 by a is equal to k minus y1 by b is equal to put a perpendicular formula h minus x1 by a is equal to k minus y1 by b is equal to minus of ax1 plus b by 1 plus c by a square plus b square. In first year, you have done plenty of times the concept H minus X1 concept here. So, H minus 3 by 4 is equal to K plus 2 by minus 3 is equal to minus of this is a 12 plus 6 plus 7 by 25. You can write 12, 6, 18, this is 25, 25 got cancelled. So, H minus 3 is equal to minus 4, comma k plus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, point of contact. Point of contact is equal to minus 1 comma 1 for the circuit. Minus 1 comma 1. We have completed the theory of Tangents, let us discuss about parametric equation of circle. Depends upon parametric equation. How to find the I equation of circle, let us discuss in next class. Okay.